Welcome back. We've got the block together now, so this video is going to be how to rebuild a 3TG TE head. Um, I've spent quite a bit of time on this head, ported out the inlet as you can see there. It's got a, about a 120 grip finish and the exhaust uh, I've polished up as well as the combustion chambers. And you can also see there the head's been faced. Uh, it's going to have a metal head gasket needs to be a very good finish and that's actually an RA of 13 so you want to have an RA which is a roughness average of at least 30 or better there the Camiri guides in out of this whole thing putting those things in was a real pain but anyway they're in now machined up and uh, these are the stock valves cleaned up quite well I've got some brand new Camiri parts so the chain uh, tensioner sprocket race springs good for 10,000 rpm and retainers and I also went with genuine Toyota valve stem seals before you start this I, I think it's worth putting the valve cups in just make sure they move up and down free because once the cam's in it's very hard literally impossible to tell if there's a tight spot so they all look good and then obviously I, I do this on both sides uh, once that's done, then I put the cam in, bolt the caps on, there are no valves at this point, no um, valve cups or anything like that, and all I'm doing here is putting a bit of assembly lube and just checking that it spins freely, so tension them up a little bit at a time. Um, I didn't actually use a torque wrench on these, but they're roughly around 15 to 20 uh, foot pounds so done that and as you can see it's just a nice fit it doesn't spin that freely because the assembly lube doesn't have uh, quite the same viscosity as normal oil so it's, it, it does turn a bit it's a bit stiffer so anyway that's all good and I'm comfortable now that I won't have any problems uh, knowing that the clearance is right for the uh, valve stems uh, to the valve itself the valve cups fit in there and the cam bearings are fine so really it's just a matter of assembling everything now first thing to do is to put the valve spring washers in uh, one important thing to note is you need to put these in before you put the seals on because the seals are actually larger than that hole uh, this is the Camiri one, it's quite well built. I like the fact it's got that spigot there for the outer spring. And this is the stock 3TG um, spacer, which you can see is not quite as substantial as the Camiri one. So the Camiri ones, they're, they're actually made out of titanium. Bit of assembly lube underneath there. Put them in on inlet and exhaust. Um, take your time with this and after they're all in the next thing to do is to install the bow stem seals so as I said I went with Toyota seals you got to remember that these are designed to actually have some leak through I don't particularly like the design of aftermarket seals so I took the time to source some genuine ones just use a socket that sits on that uh, outer face you can literally just push these in by hand um, but I like to use a socket because it just force puts the force on the metal rather than the rubber bit of assembly lube or oil either is fine put it in there you, you really don't need to get a hammer out all you do is damage these they're just a nice slide on fit if you look very carefully you can just see where it pushes down just there there's a little groove in the top of the valve guide it sits in there very nice it's not going to come out get them all done again you can see i'm just pushing it on with the socket no need for a hammer uh, and you don't want to forget those washers uh, because if you do it's very hard to get these seals off without damaging them again once they're in the next step is to put the valve and springs together these are racing springs for a TTG thankfully I've got a great friend in Japan who helped me translate this so there's a couple of things you need to know with Kamiri is their eight springs are not the same so the inlet and the exhaust springs are different um, the way you tell is there's some a red paint there the red paint actually goes on the inlet 
and the exhaust are painted yellow. And the other thing is that paint needs to point downwards. They are a lot stiffer than the stock springs, so there's no way there's going to be valve bounce. Uh, this is a tool I made to uh, compress the springs. I couldn't find anything on the market that worked on this on this head. I made it out of a hole saw and just ground the teeth off, and it's the right size hole saw just to fit nicely into the retainer groove. So first thing is, a bit of oil on the valve stem. Gently push it in. It'll have a bit of resistance through the oil seal, so it'll hold itself there. And then it's simply just a matter of putting the valve spring in. So this is the red facing down on the inlet. Just position it in there, put the retainer on, and then compress the spring. So what you want to do is compress the spring far enough, and you can see the hole I made there in the hole saw. You want to compress it far enough to expose the end of the valve stem. And what there is is two little half moon clips that uh, go on there. They're tapered, and the retainer's tapered as well. And once you release the pressure, that just locks up and there's no chance of it coming apart. This has been a great tool for me. I have rebuilt a few of these and I remember the first time I didn't have a tool like this and it was just a total pain, so definitely worth having one like that. To put the clips on, I put a bit of grease on the valve stem just so it gives those clips something to stick to. Um, it's a little bit hard to see in this video, but I've got the clips in. Now I'm slowly releasing the pressure and taking that clamp off and uh, once the clamps off that's pretty much done and you just follow the same process for the remaining valves so just show you one more here same thing spring position properly you can see that little hole saw fits right into the groove and compress it down put a bit of grease on the valve stem, position the retainers, release the tension, and that's all good. So it can be a bit fiddly to get those clips on. I did struggle with a couple of these, uh, but you just gotta be patient, take your time, it'll be fine. Here we go, put a bit of grease on there again. Doesn't need much, just enough just to, to hold it there. It's probably, you can just see the the half moon there. Just use a screwdriver or something similar just to position it on. Put the second one in. Once they're both in, back the pressure off. Uh, re really, without a tool like this, I, I can't see how you could do this job without either becoming very frustrated or damaging something. Uh, the bottom of that tool just sits on the, the valve head or face, uh, so nothing gets damaged. That's all fine. So same process, there's all the inlet valves are done now. They seated in there real nice. Make sure you've numbered them because these have obviously been uh, set up to suit the valve guides and the clearance is very tight. So with Camiri, I'm running a clearance between 7 tenths of a thou and 1.2 thou on the inlet and one to one and a half thou clearance on the exhaust. So this is uh, just one final view of putting an exhaust spring together. So there's the yellow on that one, points down. Put the retainer on and exactly the same process. Uh, the retainers are the same, inlet and exhaust. Obviously the valves are different. They're much bigger on the, on the inlet. Compress this down it. I, I couldn't really get a very clear view. I'm trying to actually, there wasn't much room for the camera, but you can get the idea. Um, yeah, so again, if you don't have the tool, I wouldn't bother with this job. Get somebody else to do it unless you have the right equipment. So anyway, um, now that I've got all the valves in, I'm going to set up the valve uh, clearances to the cam once the head's back on the block so I don't want to damage the base and the surface finish that I've been able to get on this. So that'll be the next step. Uh, you can just see this is the finished product. Looks great. All the valves are in. Next step, bolted onto the block. 
and then I'll sort out the clearances. Stay tuned.